Hello and welcome to our new video. Today we're taking a close look at ConvertKit, an email marketing platform that's got everyone talking. Is it the right tool for you? Let's find out. First up, let's talk about what ConvertKit brings to the table. This platform has been making waves, especially among content creators. But why? Let's dive in. The pros of ConvertKit. User friendliness. ConvertKit stands out for its straightforward and intuitive interface. It's perfect for beginners, but powerful enough for pros. Unlimited email sending. This is a big plus. Regardless of your plan, you can send as many emails as you need, making it ideal for those regular newsletters. Dynamic content capabilities. Thanks to its support for liquid templating, you can personalize and dynamize your emails easily. No limits on landing pages and forms. Whether it's forms or landing pages, ConvertKit doesn't put a cap on your creativity. GDPR compliance. For those with an EU audience, ConvertKit makes it easy to stay compliant. Solid support with live chat. If you hit a snag, ConvertKit's live chat support for paid plans is there to help you out. Sponsor network for monetization. For the heavy hitters with over 10,000 subscribers, there's a unique opportunity to monetize through their sponsor network. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Let's look at some of the drawbacks. The cons of ConvertKit. Marketing might mislead. Just because it's popular among creators doesn't mean it's the right fit for everyone. It's important to assess your specific needs. It can be pricey. For those on a tight budget, ConvertKit might be a bit steep, especially considering there are cheaper alternatives out there. Limited free plan. Features. If you're starting out and not ready to invest, the lack of email automation in the free plan might be a turnoff. Basic editing and templates. If you're looking for extensive customization, ConvertKit's newsletter editor might feel a bit restrictive. Restricted landing page and form customization. While user-friendly, customization options are limited. Basic reporting features. If in-depth analytics is what you're after, ConvertKit might fall short. So there you have it, the good and the not so good about ConvertKit. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again.